Hey folks, this is David Smith at Correctional Officer Lifestyle. Uh, it's been a good long minute since I put up a video. Um, I have no excuse. Been lazy, I've been procrastinating, and honestly, I haven't had a whole lot to talk about. Um, I'm not trying to sound like a like an ass, but you know, I haven't had a whole lot to talk about. Um, I got some got some rather serious issues going on at work and pardon me real quick I had a pop up I got some real serious issues going on at work and it has to do with staffing um, I have some real issues going on in my personal life it has to do with my children and I'm pretty sure that it's been long enough since I posted a video my son is my son is now married and there's there's no happier time than to talk about your kid getting married uh, to a wonderful wonderful young lady um, shout out to her destiny uh, I, I certainly hope that my son makes you as happy as you make him um, my, uh, my other son is getting married in December to wonderful young lady Caitlin and there's there's just there's a lot been going on there's a lot of personal stuff been going on and I haven't had the gumption I've had plenty of time I just haven't had the gumption to to post a video and for that I'd like to apologize it, it, it's been a long time since I posted a video but this video has to do with my impending entrance into the DROP program in the state of Florida. DROP stands for Retur Deferred Retirement Option Program. Basically, I'm going to officially retire next month. I'll still be working, but my retirement will be frozen at that point. I'll get a paycheck and I will get my retirement pay put into a savings account to accrue interest over time and that will give me a lump sum with which I can purchase my retirement home and where, where I plan on living after I retire and it's going to be in Central Florida so that that's a big milestone in my life and it's something that I've mulled over it's something that I've prayed about but next month I will be entering the the drop program and announcing my official retirement from the Department of Corrections um, drop is five years unless they extend it to eight in which case I've got anywhere from five to eight years left in my career so I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to the next chapter um, still relatively young as far as as far as human beings go I'm 52 now I'm 52 years old as of April the 15th so I will be either 57 or 60 when I retire um, lots of lots of stuff yet to do in my life and I'm hoping that I can retire as well as I think I can um, I'm hoping that a couple more bits of legislation pass that will that will help me with my retirement but until then you know I'm just I'm moving on I'm moving on in the next chapter of my life I'm still gonna maintain the correctional officer lifestyle uniform because as of right now I've got almost 28 years of experience to to impart the knowledge of to the followers of this channel and uh, by the time I retire, I'll have anywhere from either 33 to 36 years of knowledge that I can impart. Um, so that, that's, that's where this channel is going to be going. It, it's, it's a lifestyle vlog. It's supposed to be a lifestyle vlog. It's not a lifestyle vlog. It's, it's an instructional video series. Um, I don't feel that I am important enough to just tell people this is what happened to me today this is what happened to me yesterday this is what happened to me the day before yesterday 
I, I don't feel that I am that important. I don't feel that I don't feel that self-absorbed that I need to tell everybody my life story every single day as in a video log. So I'm going to make this an instructional video log, if you will. Um, the staffing levels that I have incurred on my shift. Uh, granted, I'm coming back after after a two-week vacation. Um, I went and celebrated my 26th wedding anniversary and I went and watched my niece graduate from high school and got to spend time with my sister in Tallahassee Crawfordville which is basically Tallahassee so it was a good time it was a good time I enjoyed it but I'm coming back to a shift that is on paper full In actuality, not. Um, I've got a lot of people out with family issues. Joyous, joyous family issues. I have people that are expanding their families and having children. And that is a joyous occasion, make no mistake about it. That is a joyous occasion. I will miss them. I will miss them dearly when they're not on shift. But they have more important things to do. They have more important things to take care of. So, that's it. That's all I've got for this video. Um, I am going to give some more topics. I am going to create some more topics. I am going to get some more stuff to talk about. But for right now, this is it. As always, I always end my videos with this. And there is a reason I end my videos with this. It is because I abhor domestic violence. I cannot stand domestic violence. I don't have a place in my heart for domestic violence. I don't think there's a place in this world for domestic violence. So I say again, if you are the victim of domestic violence or you know the victim of domestic violence, 1-800-799-SAFE. 1-800-799-7233. That is a domestic violence hotline. The folks at the other end of that phone call have the tools, abilities, and resources to help the victims of domestic violence. If you know the aggressor in a domestic violence situation say something to somebody the worst thing that you can do is nothing and if you are the aggressor in a domestic violence situation <clears throat> there's hope for you too first thing you have to do is admit that you have a problem and that you need that help and the second thing you have to do is ask for it folks I am my brother's keeper I am my sister's keeper love shouldn't hurt and we work in corrections one team one fight that's all I got for this video y'all stay safe behind that fence I'll see you in the next one